Hello, I'm Hawada Glen, aka Hell, Water, Fire, and this is Hell War News for the 7th day of January 2015. 6015, if you're a Freemason fuck, committing treason all over the planet on Hell Wars. All right, let's get down to business. Already people are out there making hoax videos. Oh, it's a hoax. Oh, they're shooting blanks. Oh, they're this. Oh, they're that. Over to Paris shooting. All right, well, as uh, it all boils down to it, yet again, Hell Wars calls it an act of treason against the people. And uh, what some nimwits out there don't understand, because it doesn't sink into their brains, because they have no brain, is that this is the result, okay? Now, I'm going to explain to you. Although you live in America, you fucking hillbillies, uh, you do have laws down there that prevent shit like this from happening to you in your country. Not like other countries, uh, for instance, Canada, who has one terror fucking uh, uh, treason incident, and all of a sudden, our laws are changed forever, and uh, now everyone who even talks bad gets the old fucking, you're a terrorist fucking routine and dragged into court. Uh, you people down in America, you don't get it. And, and here, let me prove you don't get it. Terror bill, C-13, Canadian laws change forever. Out Canada, the terror laws could change. Uh, Lou, counterterrorism already coming in. Uh, bill C up, open parliament, uh, more surveillance uh, pushes, punishes Canadians, not terrorists. And of course, the only YouTube video on it all comes out of Hell War News. No one else is doing it. Nobody. Nobody else. Just Hell Wars. Uh, and of course, yeah, the... Agenda 21 hits Canada as the bill is passed, and they start hauling people in already on it. Anti-terrorism act, new cyberbullying law has a uh, larger agenda, expands police fucking force. Uh, new terror laws must respect Canadian fundamental rights. If they don't, government passes anti-constitutional surveillance law, and that's exactly what it is. Uh, it, 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 it's just bullshit. Uh, how federal uh, Bill C-13 could give CSIS agents uh, the right to just walk into your house in Canada and fuck you up the ass because you call Harper an asshole. And, and this is what it's all about. And a lot of you people out there saying, oh, they didn't do nothing about your rights. And you're, you're, you're passing misinformation. This whole giant thing. Let's Here, let's face the facts here. About... Six months to a year ago, a story come out of Paris that there would be future false flags, all right? They said that it would happen in Canada, and they said it would happen in the United States. To get particular, it was, they said New York City, didn't they? Uh, they did say something about a subway system. You know, a couple months go by, and bang, 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 we have one up here in Canada that changed our laws forever, okay? 20,800,000 results on Canada's law being changed forever from one little act of treason committed in Ottawa. Here we go. Just because they, uh, all the false flags are starting to happen all over the world now doesn't mean it's all fake like in America. Now, people saying, oh yeah, well, it's fake, it's fake, it's fake, it's fake. You're not getting it. If I make a motion picture and I call it real, is that fraud? Yes, it is. If I make a documentary and I call it real, but it's fake with actors, is that fraud? Yes, it is. Do you understand where I'm going with this? So even though you might think this whole charade is a motion picture, it's an act of treason. Get it in your head. I cry. <laughs> <clears throat> part of me a crime is being committed and uh, you guys just don't realize that so call it what you will but uh, let's just go on with this just a little footage here bang 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 funny thing is I was watching Kip's clips this morning and they did the shoot him up and there was a body on the sidewalk there you want it yeah there's no body on the sidewalk in this footage look no body on the sidewalk 
Uh, nonchalantly dressed like Isis, jump in the car and away we go. Here, Isis facts. Isis, military contractors from all over the world, Mossad, MI6, CIA, probably the France Secret Service, the Russian Secret Service, uh, Kip clips brought up a good point today that uh, all the Secret Service agencies were Allied forces back in the 40s fighting the Germans. Yeah, absolutely fucking correct, sir. Uh, so, you know, it's easy for these guys to have pa passports to the entry of any country to play shoot 'em up cowboy uh, in the little land of make believe. So, uh, there we go. Yeah, just nonchalantly drive away. We don't see, you know. Okay, let's stop it right there. For all you people who think it's all fake, well, that looks like a bullet hole to me. Looks like it went through three panes of glass, too. Yeah, is that fake? One gun must have been loaded, huh? Yeah. Takes all kinds. So, as you produce your evidence that it's a hoax, here's a, some hell worth evidence that it's real. And there were real bullets flying today, okay? So there you go. So even though it might be a charade, it's still an act of treason against the people to take away their rights like they did in Canada. And you people <laughs> gotta wake up to that fact. Hell War News, I'm out of here. Paris, at least 12 people were killed when gunmen armed with Kalashnikovs and a rocket launcher opened fire in the offices of French satirical weekly Charlie Hebdo on Wednesday, said sources close to the investigation. The prosecutor's office confirmed that, at this stage, 10 people had been killed without detailing how many had been injured. Another source close to the investigation said the number of dead had reached 12. Deputy Mayor of Paris Bruno Juliet earlier said, six people are seriously injured, including a policeman. It was not clear whether these now figured among the dead. French President François Hollande arrived at the scene of the shooting after rushing there and calling an emergency cabinet meeting, the presidency said. The government raised its alert level to the highest possible in the greater Paris region.